What is going on guys, Hunter Medusa here, bringing you guys a brand new video. Today we are going to be going over one of my all-time favorite champions in the mid lane, and that is going to be Orianna. Now, Orianna is a great champion to learn how to pick up when you are playing mid lane, especially in ranked, and I'm going to give you two reasons as to why that is the case. Number one, she does so well when it comes to damage output. She has the ability to do burst damage and crazy amounts of burst damage at that if you are able to start snowballing early on in the lane if you start to you know get a lot of kills or get a little bit ahead and cs and sort of things and you really start to push for a heavy damage build it does wonders now she also does really well as kind of a more supporty mid laner now i'm saying this because she does have a speed up or slow down ability she does have a shield and she does again have great damage even if you don't go full damage build you're still able to put out a lot of damage and you do have a lot of cc when it comes to your ultimate so it can really be a, a, a build that you really can cater around anything because you know if you start to realize that your team is really starting to carry and you didn't do too well in the laning phase then you can you know kind of work your way towards more of a supporty build but if you are just dominating then why not go with the normal damage build so with that kind of being my two reasons as to why she's so broken let's actually jump into how she works and i'll give you guys a little tip and and things sort of like that so that you can really get a hold on how to play her because she can be a little difficult and a little intimidating but she's really not that bad so with that out of the way let's look at her pass now this is going to be clockwork wind up now, this is going to essentially mean that Orianna's auto attacks will deal extra damage, and that's going to be magic damage, but this increases the more she attacks a single target. So, it doesn't transfer between, like, minions or champions, for example, but if you're sitting there auto attacking a champion as you're throwing abilities and you're just, you know, getting some uh, um, auto attacks in there in between ability casts, then you really start to ramp up a little bit. Now, it's not too noticeable, but you know it, it really does start to work out and and the other part of her passive is the ball that f floats around her now when this ball is on orion it actually gives her a little bit of a buff you know things like extra armor extra magic resist that sort of thing but it's nothing that you can't live without and so that's why i mean that's really just going to cater into what i'm going to talk about in a second so with her q we've got command and that's going to be attack now, this basically just means that you can command the ball to move in any direction that you want. However, it does only move in a, a straight direction. So wherever you click the ability, that's where the ball is going to head to. Now, when it gets there, it just stays there, but it does do damage to all units that it passes through and that it stops at. So it's really nice for a little bit of poke damage and the ball will stay there after you've casted it until you you know move it again with your Q or you call it back to whatever it may be. So her Q is mainly gonna be used for positioning because it does play around her other abilities. And one thing that many people do not actually know is that her ball does use vision. So if you're maybe recalling in a bush or something and you're right next to a wall, you can throw your ball over the wall and it will grant vision as you're recalling and then as you recall, it will just follow you back to base. So that is going to be her Q. Now her W, her W is gonna be dissonance. Now, essentially what this does is wh wherever the ball is located, whether that be on your person or in another random location, when you do it, it releases a pulse of energy. Now this is gonna be magic damage that it does, kind of like an AOE effect. And then it leaves behind a field for about one or two seconds. And enemies that pass through that will actually be slowed and allies that pass through it will be sped up. So she's very, very poke heavy as you can start to imagine already with her QW combo. It's gonna be really hard to kind of play into an Orianna just because she can zone you out so well. Now let's look at her E, which is gonna be protect. This is pretty simple. If she has the ball on her, it gives her a shield. If the ball is not on her, when she recalls it, then the ball will recall back to her and give her a shield. Now, do keep in mind that the shield does not hit you immediately if the ball is not on you. So if you're in a sticky situation, you need to remember that if the ball is not on your character, you're not going to get that shield immediately. You need to wait for the ball to get back to you. So that's got me killed a few times, as I'm sure it has for you as well. So just keep that in mind and keep that remembering if you think you're going to need a shield maybe recall it to you a little sooner than you would think or maybe just keep the ball close to you so that the distance that it has to travel is smaller now this can be used on allies just the same as yourself all of these abilities really can be used at anywhere so if the ball is on an ally you can give them a shield or you can use her w which will give them a speed up and do damage to enemies that may be within the range now her ultimate is going to be shockwave now this is why oriana is such a great champion to play and to learn because essentially what this does is it spins around and after about 
I don't know, 0.3 seconds or so, it will unleash a shockwave. Now, what this does is it will pull enemies towards the ball. So, it has a small radius around it. As you activate it, it spins, brings everybody into it. But another thing to keep in mind with this is this, that if you throw it in front of somebody and use the shockwave, it's actually gonna pull them away from you because it's going to travel the direction of the ball. So, if you're trying to pull someone closer to you, you need to make sure they're within range and the ball is actually behind them more towards yourself if that makes sense and then when you ult it'll slingshot them back to you and allow you to get a little more damage off this is really great to use for team fights because it does have so much disruption and it does have a lot of damage included with it as well so those are going to be her abilities she's very poke heavy she's very support heavy she's she's just an all-around great champion now let's look at some of the items you're going to want now items are very situational as i'm sure you figured out with oriana if you're going to go with a with a just all-out damage build i would really suggest that you get a seraph's embrace for that extra mana because with her abilities having such a low cooldown she can use abilities very often and if you're going damage you're going to be needing them very often which means that you're going to run out of mana so a seraph's is going to be my number one pick when it comes to a damage build and then for your mythic item i would strongly suggest going with a ludens echo again if you are going a damage build because of just the amount of damage that has and the wave clear that it has it just it really starts to help out in the end after that point if you want to go with the crystal scepter that would be great but again as i say in all of my how-to videos it's going to just kind of be dependent on the specific game that you're playing on what items you're going to need if you've got someone like a nasus or a warwick then maybe a morella namicon you kind of get the point now if you're going with a supporty build i would still suggest getting a saris because you are going to be using your abilities a lot but then you can kind of scale it back and maybe go with the zonias you know just more supporty items that you would find yourself picking if you're playing someone like seraphine for example so i'm gonna leave the items to choose up for you guys just because i don't know every scenario you're going to be playing into and i'm Again, as I say in all my videos, I just wouldn't find it fair for me to tell you exactly what items to work because maybe for that specific game, they're not going to work. Now, you're going to want to run Electrocute if you're going damage with, I like to run Biscuits and Time Warp Tonic just because I'm a very aggressive player, so I go through mana very often. And if you're going to go supportive, you can always run Summon Airy or even just Arcane Comet for a little extra sustain. Now, I prefer to play with Flash and Teleport. If you find yourself playing into a Zed, maybe you need a barrier, you know, same old spiel. Just kind of depends on who you're going to be playing into. Now, how exactly do you play Oriana? Well, I've covered it a little bit already, but it's really important that you, you really learn how to zone your enemy out early game. Oriana does so well because she can position her ball in a spot to where she can get free damage out on her enemy laner very often. So as long as you're throwing the ball around and making sure that you're getting a lot of damage, zoning them off of their minions so that they can't farm. That's what you're going to need to do as Orianna. Now, that's not just for damage build. That's for a supporty build too. But you want to get ahead as fast as you can. And if you can really zone out that enemy champion and make sure that you know they're not getting any cs or maybe they aren't able to leave lane a lot to go help other lanes because of how much you're bullying them that's what you're going to want to look for as you're playing oriana so when it gets to later game if you are playing supporty you're going to want to stay in the back line make sure you're getting those shields out make sure that you're using your ult at the best of times to get as much impact out of that cc as you can and just don't be afraid to use your abilities if you are going to run a seraph's embrace don't be afraid you, if if you whiff your ult well by the time you're going to be needing it a lot it's going to be on a pretty short cooldown and don't forget i tell this to everybody don't forget to use your ball as vision you know if they're fighting in baron pit and you don't have a ward throw it over the wall and it'll act as a ward for you and they can't do anything about it except they'll know where you're at so just make sure that you're using lots of vision with her kit make sure you're using all of your abilities and have fun because oriana is one of the best champions to play in the mid lane right now she just offers so much to the table and she is so awesome now i hope you guys enjoyed the video i know that i've been gone for a little bit i'm gonna make a video explaining that but just the short part of it is i've got school i've got a job um, I have, you know, I do motocross as a hobby and so I just haven't had a lot of time to do this and I needed to step away for a little bit to spend a little more time with my wife. So that's kind of the shortened version. We'll leave that for the next video. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it helpful. We've reached a thousand views on three videos and that is 
awesome. That's so exciting to me. So let's try to get that video back up to, let's try to get this video back up to that point because I'm, I'm hyped and I'm happy that these are helping you guys out. So if you guys would, be sure to leave a like and comment down below. Let me know what you think of Oriana and let me know if this guide helps you out. I'd love to know. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button, guys. It really helps me out and lets me know you guys enjoy the videos I make and the content I create. Now, with that being said, thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. And thank you for joining the Stone Army.